Yeah, I thought uh, early in the game, obviously being in this environment, that there had to be some composure. We talked about not getting sped up. And I thought offensively we were, you know, moving the ball well, sharing it, getting into the lane, getting rhythm shots. You saw some unselfishness that way. Got good looks early, capitalized on them with some inside, outside. Um, and so I, I thought that gave us uh, the jump that we needed to settle in. And we had a little trouble defensively with their three pointers. Whenever you have a, a big man or a four man who can st uh, ball screen and separate, that gave us trouble. But I thought in the second half, um, we were better guarding them. But again, they were the first half, what were they? Uh, they hit eight of seven of 16 from three, and that concerned us. And then they got some offensive rebounds. So those were those areas. We always look at that stuff and then our turnovers that I, I can circle. But I, I think our offense early got us off to a good start. And, um, and then we settled in defensively and got a variety of scores. Damon. Yeah, I think any time you, know, you come into a, an environment like this, when you go on the road, you're always thankful to get, get a victory because it, you know, first game, a lot of uncertainty. And granted, they were without um, a terrific score and another player. And then we also were, were down a couple. Um, you, know, you don't know how exactly you're going to respond. You don't know how your first years are going to respond, which I'm sure I'll get asked about. There's some good things there. So I, I thought the experience was good. Um, and then I, I told Ted we got wobbly at the end, um, just got sloppy. It was, we talked about outlasting, outlasting and playing against the possessions when there was a lead. And I thought we faltered in that part. But to, to come away with some stretches of good basketball, you just got to lengthen those and, and keep getting better at that. Hank and then David. Tony, Isaiah looked like he's pretty comfortable as well, but pretty quick. Yeah, I thought Isaiah, you know, for his first time out there, did a nice job. He, he has very good feel. Um, and he's a good high post player where he moves the ball, is a threat with his shot, and he's real active on the glass defensively. You know, we've seen that with him. Obviously, there's some things strength-wise and all that, but I thought that was a real good performance. And sometimes when you play teams like this that aren't as big and powerful, um, you, you need mobile guys to guard those four men who are almost like guards. And I thought he did a good job. I thought Mariel gave us a, a nice lift too, but, but that was a good first, a good opening uh, act for Isaiah. David and then Doug and then Michael. Yeah, he's a freshman too. I guess I, I don't look at him as a freshman, but he's a redshirt. Yeah. Yeah, I've said I think Devin is, is really, you know, I don't know if you say who's improved the most on our team, but I, he's made big strides from last year to this year physically with his body, and um, he's done a nice job, as I mentioned to you guys, in our two scrimmages. Uh, he really has been pretty solid. Uh, there was one stretch where he, he, he struggled, but overall he was good. And so to see him handle the ball, um, again, he's got good size. He really does. And um, be steady was was nice to see, especially without London out there. And against they they were pressuring us. They were making our entry passes, our first passes tough. So you needed guys to do it. I thought Malcolm obviously handled the ball well, but Devin um, was was very valuable out there. And yeah, I didn't realize he had five steals. That's hopefully he wasn't gambling. Hopefully he was in position and got the right ones. But that's a good a nice number. Doug. Um, not particularly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, has I mean, he's banged some shots. Um, and but he, they were all maybe but one. They were all really good shots. His feet were set. His hands were ready. The ball rotated. One was at the end of the half, and um, you know that numbers. We're we're not a team that can. There'll be games we'll have to shoot a few more, but we're just gonna fire them up. We're an inside outside team. Paint touches, and um, yeah, no, that's whenever we get that. That's certainly a bonus. And um, you know, he was balanced and. Again, they got him good looks, and I, I like this. The thing I liked about Justin today, his ability to defensive rebound. I thought he went after it and got the ball in the glass, and that's so important um, for us. And you know, again, good shot selection. You know, being an X factor, but on the glass, that's what I really was looking for, and I, I saw that. Michael. It was nice to see him when I walked out. I didn't know he was going to be at the game, but that's a, a great honor when um, obviously the, the greatest player and, well, one of them perhaps in college basketball, but certainly in Virginia history is there to support us. And he's come with his father to a practice of ours, and I got to let him say hello to our players. And it was, it was wonderful to visit with him and actually meet his dad. I really enjoyed that. 
And uh, just to see him support us and his alma mater is, is certainly I'm thankful for that. I'll take one on the right and then Mark. Shows you he's a freshman. I didn't even know that, so that should tell you. Um, hard to handle. He's kind of like a a mismatch four because he was setting that ball screen. And Coach Brady, that was that was good action. It, 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 it's action when you have a shooting four man who sets a ball screen um, and they drag you out. It's it's a long way to recover. And he was just kind of in the zone for a while there. Good player. Um, and he poses a problem with that because those stretch fours. You know, we've had guys. At times, I've coached her in the past when they're knocking those down. It really stretches your defense, and I thought they had a scrambling. And we, we made a little adjustment, nothing major, and I thought it was better in the second half. But as I watched the tape, we'll see. Maybe it was just that he missed a few. But I, I, uh, I was impressed. Now, honestly, I didn't know he was a freshman, so that, that's even more impressive for him in his first outing. Mark. Yeah, it's it's trying to, I don't know, brainwash them is not the right word, but you're trying to convince them and get them to understand, don't play against the score. It's it's the quality of the possession. And, and if we're going to talk about being a good defensive team or try to be and not give up transition buckets, there was about three times where we really broke down, where we didn't know who we had. And we had just talked about that. You know, I really tried to challenge them defensively, make it harder on them. That's what I want to see step up and kind of to be in a fog and give up that is, you know, I thought that wasn't acceptable and needed to be addressed with them to, to obviously uh, make them understand. Because if it's a tight game, if you're going against yeah, that, that can be the difference. And that's what we talked about, you know, Darian getting the technical. He wasn't mad at the official. He was mad at himself. And he slammed the ball. If you're going to slam it, at least catch it, right? <laughs> you know, you can't let it go through your hands. But um, I said, that stuff matters. All those little things in, in tight games, um, you're going against they all get exposed and they can be costly and that's they have to understand that. Chris. Uh, Coach, you opened two years ago on the road, different result, obviously. Is it nice to get uh, an early road win and you can get past your first test? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, like I said, every game's a challenge and with the um, not knowing what to expect without our point guard um, and uh, an upperclassman and that um, not knowing exactly what JMU had to offer, knowing what it was going to be like, you really couldn't hear during timeouts because they put us right by the band um very important yeah that that was that was unbelievable i mean it was it was really loud so um <laughs> the guys were just looking at me and i could tell the freshmen were like what's going on here they have they have not been in that setting so um it was it was loud okay, good but, time yeah. for a couple more whitey hey, Tony, so I assume, i'm assuming the plan is to redshirt jack yeah consideration at all we're doing the same with dj yeah um well with jack we had um, not not with BJ, no, but with Jack, we um, and it's not 100% for sure with Jack. We just I, I mentioned you guys. I had talked to one of our players about that, and you always have to look at it. it you know, is it worth it? He's newer to the game. Uh, we have a little more depth in that front court, and we said, well, with obviously the year he can get. And I just said, it's your decision. Think about it. I can give you pluses. I can give you some minuses. And he's talked to Coach Williford, who played 36 minutes his first year and uh, wishes he could have had a fifth year back and um, certainly has visited with Coach Curtis to talk to your, your parents. And uh, I think he's leaning that way, but not a final decision yet. And again, we'll, we'll keep talking. And I didn't want to use him in that setting. So that, that's the plan.